And that leads us into the Penguin Episode 7 Top Hat. And we, like, I love it. Like, I, I think early on I said I don't want flashbacks, but they're choosing the right flashbacks, and we're not hanging out with them too long. Because mm-hmm. while I'm sitting here trying to figure out the father, and we will <laughs> talk about my theory game because I have a new one, I still think it's Rex. I still think it's Rex. That, the, the, the child actor who plays the penguin yeah. looks very much like the actor who we saw play Rex, and his brothers did not. <laughs> <laughs> so, I, I thought that was pretty interesting. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. And, but it's not just that they had this flashback and we see the family, the nuclear unit together, minus the dad. But it's also that I had never thought, oh, or question. Like, I didn't really think too long and hard about the question of how did how did Oz's brothers actually die? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you're right. I mean, we and, I know we we theorized that it has something to do with Rex, um, but you know, or we you know, we, but uh, we never really like went too too deep into that. No, no, yeah. and 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 it was a question that we got answered. <laughs> Didn't even oh, know we had that oh. question. Oh yeah, and, did we get it answered? Yeah, we. Yeah, it it got it got answered because Oz. Being Oz, mm-hmm. how old do you think he was? Like, are we talking ten? Yeah, or I guess older. He's maybe maybe eleven. Yeah, he's like the middle brother because I mean Jack's the yeah. oldest clearly, and then Benny was the baby. So yeah, probably yep. eleven, twelve years old, I would think. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and 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 they go off because mom's got work to do, and the boys can't be home. Yeah. And they and the mom is clearly working for Rex. And when I say working, I mean doing the books. And when I say yep. doing the books, it's literally doing the books, okay? No, we're not talking about Tell Me Lies or Rivals right now, okay? <laughs> Even though I do have suspicions about, yeah. Anyways, um, and you, you see moments of the clear Oz needs to be an only child. <laughs> yep, yep. <laughs> um, Very clear, and yeah. The great, great casting for the kids. Great mm-hmm. casting. And and then we 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 go back into the tunnels and it's raining and you know, you know what's what's happening. Um and then yeah, I don't know why the oldest thought this was a great idea to hide in a location that would be even more difficult for Oz to get to because of his leg. Yeah. Um, and so Oz being Oz gets upset at that and decides, well, well, if if you want to do that, well, then I'm going to I'm going to lock you in there and good luck in and out. And the boys drown. Yeah. yeah. Horrible. 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 Yeah. I mean, so a couple of things before I ask you this question um, about this. You, know, you, made, you made a good point about the, the his infirmity. Um, and, and also, you know, because, but in, in the mom, I just love the way they sort of set that scene up, um, with the boys, the brothers dynamic, because, you know, she was like, you know, encouraging us to get up, go outside and play while she was trying to do the books. And then whenever they come in, they really, you know, whenever, you know, she gets up, play, they play the zombie games and stuff and poor Oz is sitting over there. So again, it just sets up all those things and, 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 and it is again, bookends, the the beginning of the series and things that we've seen throughout so you know so for me it was sort of like you know with with this episode and also just thinking back over the series and gets to my question for you is uh is it nature or nurture as far as like with these characters um with oz sophia vic but also whenever you know we know oz has impulse control issues and we saw that (laughs) again which I think that's just his nature. But um, do you think he intended to kill his brothers? Or do you think it was like one of those things like he just like was just pissed off, you know, fuck him. And then, and then, you know, once the rain started happening and stuff and they started watching Top Hat, 
you know, and because of the relationship that he does have with his mother, he was sort of like, you know what? Really, like, fuck him. <laughs> did, did you think he intended to kill him or you think it was an accident? Or do you think he came to it, you know, while they were sitting there watching Top Hat? Oh, um, the the last one for sure. Okay, okay, yeah, that's yeah. what I thought. Yeah, yeah. I thought. It, yeah. I I think the the whole looking um back and forth at the mm. window, um, kind of made it clear like he was definitely going his mind like, do I say something? Do I not? Do I say yeah. something? Do I not? But it then just kept going on and on and yeah. on and on. Um, and then I think you also asked nature or nurture. Mm-hmm. Well, what's the difference? Like, or or yeah. what's like, 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 are we, I I guess it's hard for me. Like, yeah, he came out of the womb that way. <laughs> like, yeah. what does that mean? We're, we're all heavily influenced by experience. Yeah. And our parents and our family members, like, and, and also what we don't see in this cold open or haven't really seen is. I I will say we have yet to be shown the the um the influential moment where where Oz would look as an 11-year-old look at at Rex yeah. and see oh he's a gangster. I, mm-hmm. I like I I understand this. We don't know. We haven't been shown that. I mean no. so so it's hard to say and yeah. I know, I understand why you raise the question because it gets into what later happens between Sophia and Francis to an extent. Mm-hmm. And um, I think part of it is probably her influence, but but we also see that we don't know when the the disease started with Francis, right? No, no. And I mean, she she was just broken after losing her boys, and it was that exactly. So, yeah. so did in a way did that trauma trigger this illness, and is that also why Oz um, in the previous episode was so down about being unable to help her because arguably he created her in a mm-hmm. way yeah so yeah. yeah i love yeah and that's one of the things of the series is you know they it's like chicken or the egg in, in, with a lot of these situations as far as these characters but i mean the through line is because odds does something it's the catalyst for something else um whether it's his brothers whether it's just breaking you know breaking his mother's spirit i do like the point i do like that the fact that you did raise about we did we haven't yet you know, we've we've seen things through Oz's eyes, and even it, as far as with Rex, I mean, we saw a little bit of it as far as Oz sees Rex as just this benevolent figure that you know we've heard so much about, um, in the sense that you know, because you know, Jack saw saw Rex for who he was, gangster. Oz just happened to still see the guy who like gave Jack the fifty dollars, has his big this shiny this shiny car you know so oz still sees him as a hero um but well, you know, but Jack, he says yeah. he's a gangster like i know yeah. where he got that money from he's a gangster so he yeah. he says it in a way that doesn't but he doesn't I, know I what it means yeah well no but what i actually was going to say the opposite he knows yeah. what it means yeah. like it goes back to what what francis told tells sophia in the episode and what what Oz or or maybe Francis even said this to Vic at one point, I forget, but I know I've heard a similar conversation before is like, you don't understand. He got to this point because it's not that he was born into it. It's not that right. he um, yeah. he but he came about it in a way where he was able to learn, absorb and take advantage. Yeah. Like, yeah. so he knows the game mm-hmm. far better. So, and I, from that remark about uh, Rex at the beginning of being a gangster, there was like, and that's who I want to be. So, so yeah, there you glorify him, but it's, it's just, 
I I just view it as like there's a familiarity there yeah. where yeah. I, I like he doesn't look up to his older brother. No, he looks up to Rex. Yeah. Um, and and then it, it's got it. It's hard for me to po- like pin all of that on Francis when there's the whole mystery of the father. Like, why did the father leave? Is it Rex? Who is the father? If See, if it's not Rex and yeah, and I don't think the father's it, Rex. The more the more right. we talk about it, I don't think it is. I mean, I think they make it very clear that the father, he's an absent. You know, he was clearly an absent father beforehand. You know, and he was just you know because I I think there was some I think Francis may have made some mentions about you know he had all these dreams and he talked big but you know had no action no you know no ambition whatever, and and so you know at, at this point. The the father figure was in the you know if for for the family was at least for Oz was 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 Rex. I mean Jack, not yeah. I don't think so much. Um, Jack didn't well, have and a- but that like that just makes me question why why did that affect Oz in that way and not the other two, like especially yeah. the older one because yeah. they all don't have the dad around and and we never find out his own disability but i don't know so hmm. yeah Yeah, yeah. this is me not knowing what where to go to next because i feel like we've drowned this (laughs) point (laughs) no 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 no. i mean no i think that i mean that cold open just has so many so many levels to it that does color i think you know it does color this this character but also like as i mentioned before it gets into this i think it you know really catches on the whole thematic um, through our through line of this whole series because we do turn you know it, it does set up the great scene between Sophia and, and, and Francis um where you know where you know, they're they're having their back and forth and you know and Francis gets in the good line it's like you know you know I'm paraphrasing but you know you know you could change your name but you're still you know you're still a Falcon <laughs> you know you're still who you are yeah and you know and that that colors Sophia's later interactions with 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 Gia whenever she, they found out that she was possibly going to talk to the police about what really happened. Well, yeah, she she went to have a similar conversation that her dad would would do. Mm-hmm. So it's like yeah. now that that seed has been planted of doubt in her head, she then does an action that is like, oh, Francis was right, yeah. like. And my, and, and she's not. I mean, arguably, in my opinion, at the end of the episode, she didn't even change the game. <laughs> <In> the <laughs> I knew that was a bomb. Yeah, I did too. Yeah, I did too. That was that was my one like quibble with no, but whatever. Yeah, yeah. I knew it was my. I was like this. This took it, that 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 whole thing with the with the ending there. It, it bothered me. I had I, I, I that was like for me. That was like that's probably one of the few missteps that this series has taken <laughs> it's just you knew it wasn't you knew it the scene went on so freaking long yeah. and it's just it wouldn't make any sense for for it to have been sophia despite the doubt you just there's mm-hmm. no way you're like we got we got another episode to go so no yeah yeah um yeah. but what what i did find hilarious um and love was the Sal and Oz, um, yeah. because for most of this episode, Oz spends it with Sal, yeah. and who is wants to kill him with his own two hands, continues to not be able to because of this deal that him and Sophia will do that together. Mm-hmm. Like he's on a leash and he's surrounded by what seems to be Sophia's men, not his own men, but Sophia's mm-hmm. men. Yep. So he he can't. Um, but and Oz figures that out, and then, and then it's like, okay, well, let me let me use that to my advantage. Mm-hmm. Um, and and they ultimately start to get into a fist fight, and then you think like, wow, Oz is not gonna make, and then nope, 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 because Sal has a heart attack. <laughs> <laughs> Yep. I just I started laughing, and then the moment where Oz is like, "No, no, you can't!" I mean, <laughs> you can't, you, I <laughs> like, mean I'm like, yeah. 
Yeah. You know, the, the, that is like a classic, okay, we we clearly have to have a way out of the situation um, that's believable. In in mm-hmm. a weird way, it's totally believable. It makes all yep. sense. Yeah, I mean, they're two, old, they're two old guys, like, going at it, you know, because they set it up early, you know, they set it up through, with our earlier, you know, scenes oh, yeah. with, with Sal, you know, having to take the heart yeah. med, you know, taking but the blood potion gotta... meds or whatever, so, yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah. And, and, but, but it also, I, I think it was also not just done for, for, for there to be a penultimate co- um, confrontation that that Oz gets his way out of it also because it, yes he won but it wasn't the way he wanted to exactly. like he beat yep. Sal but it wasn't the way he may have the ring now but it's still not and so with yeah. with Oz and his whole manifesto I an ego it mm-hmm. um it does a lot more for his character to be like, yeah, yeah, he's going to come out on top, but it's never going to be exactly on his circumstances because nope. at the end of the day, he's never going to be that person who he may think he is, mm-hmm. he may want mm-hmm. to be, but it's never going to be him because he's always going to be the kid from the East side with the bum leg. Like yep. he can't fix his leg, he can't fix his mom. He killed his brothers. Yep. So it's just, it, it's it he it it is fascinating. It is. Um, it is. Yeah. 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 What do you? Yeah. That that you, you, I can't add, add anything more to that. I mean, I think that that's what was that's what made that scene work so so well. Um, because as 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 to, as you said that. Um, um, and yeah, and so whenever. Yeah, I mean, uh, really, as far as the rest of this episode, I mean, I think that, you know, with you know, a lot of, just to turn it to the Batman of it all, just for for a moment, um, with, you know, we were joking about the, the the bomb sequence there and being very predictable, but, I mean, now I guess, you know, it, it does now take this whole, this, this gang war that's been going on, um, it does, now that the crown point has a big hole in the middle, <laughs> I mean, Batman can't ignore it. So this, right. I think that's that, that. So I think you know, moving moving ahead to the Batman two, and and all. Now it makes sense why Batman Penguin. I assume Sophia is probably going to survive um, next week. Well, you know why these why this gang war now gets his attention. You know, I. During that sequence, I was not at all thinking about the repercussions of the hole in Crown's Peak. I was much more fixated on um, Crown's Point. I was much more fixated on the the uh, parallelism between the cold open and mm-hmm. that scene because it, it like purposely were made to believe it was the same same yeah. door that he gets out of his men don't get out of just like yep. with his brothers. Mm-hmm. And then just the the dust and the sound design of the whole sequence, it reminds me of another explosion that happened in a recent thing that I watched that Will did not watch, Joker 2. <laughs> <laughs> this is the right way to do it, not with what happens in the Joker 2. Spoiler this alert. <laughs> you do it, okay? This is how you do it. Uh, when I tell you, and, and honestly... I find it really amusing that you bring up like with this sequence. Oh yeah, and now like of course Batman because when we're when you're sitting there watching Joker two and the bomb comes out, you first you're just like what the fuck, <laughs> and then you're like, okay, is Batman just gonna suddenly appear amidst mm. the rubble like he did this? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like this is the most comic book cliche explosion ever. Yeah. Not like this. This was done so well. And then what what and then the very next thing I start to laugh. Why did I start to laugh? Because he sees a black guy and is like this. <laughs> this. Yep. <laughs> I, I was just like, that is hilarious for so many reasons. And mm-hmm. also like the fact that 
the number of times either Oz or myself ask throughout this episode, where's Vic? <laughs> yeah. yeah, I was thinking that throughout the episode, too, because, you know, at the very beginning, you know, the beginning. Vic, Vic's concussed after, you know, so he thankfully he lived. You yeah, know, he lived. Yeah, he lived. You know, he didn't get Jason Todd. So yeah. um, he, he wasn't in the car. There was a yeah. bomb because I, there I will admit there was a split second when he opens the door. I was like, oh, is, is Vic in there? <laughs> I did. I thought I thought that as well. I did too because yeah. he's been gone the whole episode. But I pointed I me mean, that that was that was a very smart thing that they did as far as misdirection. Um, yeah. Because now, yeah. so granted, granted the way like they end this with Sophia still has Francis, and and Oz is still has to go and find his ma. Mm-hmm. You're just like, well, okay, so we're gonna have another. What was it, episode three, where? where Sophia and Oz are at gunpoint and, and then Vic comes in with the car and say, like, like th- they set it up for that kind of, like, we're going to find out where Vic is and he's going to, and because of his remote absence, that's going to allow the escape to happen. Mm-hmm. Um, but I think they also had to do that because there was, there was so much that needed to be done with Sophia and Francis, Oz, Sal, and Oz as a little boy. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That yeah. that we didn't have time for Vic at the moment. No, no, no. It was it was. I mean, because I think this is probably the shortest runtime for for all the episodes. I think it's only like forty six minutes or something like that. Because I so. Yeah, it was it was a packed penultimate episode, uh, but you're right. I mean, they had to move all the chess pieces, you know, and and give a answer to the question about what happened to to um, Oz's brothers, but also, you know, you, you, you know, and and, they, and then they, you know, they you know, they brought back the whole because um, I think you know didn't they Ma, Oz and his mom talk about you know going to the little the, the nightclub and dancing and stuff so in an earlier episode so they, yeah. you know, they they showed that scene this episode and then of course at the end when Sophia um I guess Rush was able to like glean out that moment um you know they take her you know, we, we we see at the end episode they go to that same old that, that same old spot uh for for the final confrontation that we'll get next week yeah yeah, we will get the final showdown next week. Um, 